So the purpose of this video is to highlight the idea of concavity. A function is considered to be concave up if, as x increases, the slopes are increasing. In other words, concave up functions have slopes that are either getting more and more positive as you move along, or less and less negative. A function on the flip side is considered to be concave down if, as x increases, the slopes are decreasing. And in other words, they're getting more and more negative or less and less positive. And we always read concavity from left to right. So let's examine this idea of concavity from both numerical and graphical perspectives to get a grasp of it. So as x moves from left to right, you can see that my slopes are getting less and less positive until they hit zero. And then my slopes are getting more and more negative. And then at a certain point, they change and they're getting less and less negative until the slope's zero again here at 3 pi over 2. And then my slopes are getting more and more positive. So you can see there's a bunch of changes in concavity. So let's take a look at this and pick it apart first from a numerical perspective. So looking at the table of data that we were given for that animation, Looking at the first set of slopes, we said that the slopes were decreasing. Then the slopes were decreasing again. The slopes were increasing. And the slopes are increasing. If at any point in time you need to pause the video and rewind and go back and take a look at the numbers more closely, please go right ahead. So now let's talk about what the concavity of the graph. So on this first interval from A to B, between A and B, my slopes were getting less positive, so it's concave down. And then my slopes were decreasing again. In other words, they were getting more negative, so concave down between B and C. Concave up between C and D. And concave up between D and E, because my slopes were increasing. So let's go back to our animation once again and view both the numerical and the visual at the same time. So in this region, my graph's concave down. My slopes are getting less positive. My slopes are getting more negative. They're, so in other words, they're decreasing, so my graph's concave down. Now my graph is concave up because they're getting less negative. They're increasing. And my slopes are getting more and more positive, so therefore my function's concave up on that interval. Now, the places where our graph changed concavity are called inflection points. Where a graph has gone from increasing to decreasing, or decreasing to increasing, are called extrema, and those are referred to as local minimums and local maximums. Now, let's check what we learned. In a minute, I'd like you to pause the video and sketch a graph of f of x with the following characteristics. All right, so here is a possible potential solution. As you can see, my graph was decreasing concave down, then decreasing concave up, then increasing concave up and increasing concave down. And in terms of where in the vertical direction this graph is located, we don't have enough information for that. So it could have been below the x-axis or above the x-axis. Now here's an interesting extension of the idea. Let's sketch a graph whose heights represent the slopes of our curve for given x values. So as we move along, my slopes are positive. So I'm plotting height values that are positive, but they're getting less positive because my slopes are getting less positive. Then my slope hits zero, so that's why I have an x-intercept there. And then my slopes are getting negative and more and more negative, so my height values are getting negative, more and more negative, so on and so forth. Once again, positive slopes, so my height values are positive and they were getting more positive. So where the heights of our slope function was increasing, our graph was concave up and the heights of our slope function was decreasing, our original function was concave down. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the land of the derivatives. But alas, 
That, my friend, is a discussion for another day.